The damage caused to his eye is now very visible. Pass is still there, and at this stage, there is nothing medical experts at the University Teaching Hospital can do. 35-year-old German Nunga's right eye has to be removed. Sylvia Walia, the mother, has already given the authority to the doctors to undertake the operation. My doctor told me to go to the hospital. I told him to go to I told him to go to the hospital. But you know, child of my chance pants. What annoys Jeremiah's mother is that more than a month after Elibala police officer injured her son, no indication as to whether or not punitive action has been taken has been pronounced. Jeremiah says his life has been ruined. And that he can no longer do his plumbing business. Police spokesperson Charity Munganga Chanda, however, says the accused officer has been arrested and that he will appear in court soon. I'd like to mention that this case is very active. The officer was officially arrested and will appear in court soon. And I would also want to talk uh, to assure the relatives to Jeremiah that there is no special law that protects police officers. Once an officer commits an offense, he's treated as a normal criminal. So in this case, this officer will be taken to court and prosecuted. It took two hours for medical doctors at the University Teaching Hospital to undertake the operation, and Nunga was later seen walking out of the theater with a white bandage wrapped around his face and part of the head. Miss Banda is disturbed at what has now become of a son. It is now a permanent disfigure for Jeremiah, who has now remained with one eye. He will spend two nights at the hospital as medical personnel observe his recovery process. For the police service, the case now has to change from that of assault occasioning actual bodily harm to unlawful wounding as the extent of the injury is now permanent. Mwapek Mwenda, Movie TV News, Lusaka.